Back in the book segment tonight, some viewers were stunned when ABC News put a radical Muslim cleric on the air who was asked about Islam in America. So do you agree with Reverend Graham and our panelists on this side that Americans should fear Islam? We do believe as Muslims the East and the West will one day be governed by the Sharia. Indeed, we believe that one day the flag of Islam will fly over the White House. Wow. Joining us now from Washington, Fox News political analyst Charles Krauthammer. You know, if I were a Christian Amanpour, boy, wouldn't it, would have <laughs> thought, I would have laughed at that guy. I would have laughed at him. I said, I would have called him a loon or something like that. I, I mean, I don't take that seriously. Do you? No, I don't. I can assure the viewers that there will be no flag of Islam over the White House in my lifetime, in our children's lifetime, our grandchildren. After that, we're going to be living in test tubes and in the matrix anyway, so that won't matter. But this is what's interesting about that loudmouth uh, imam is that he was speaking from London. He was not in the studio in New York, and that to me is the salient factor. In Europe, you do have these large radicalized Muslim communities the, and these, uh, is, uh, these imams who are outspoken in support of jihadism, in support of the spread of Sharia, and the imposition of Sharia on their countries. And it's not a pipe a dream. Bernard Lewis, the great Islamic scholar, has predicted that by the end of the century, Europe will be Muslim. But interestingly enough, that is a provocative statement that Ms. Amanpour certainly didn't challenge the way she should have, because the only way that an Islamic flag could be flying over the White House would be by force. It's never going to be peacefully voted in here. Sharia, we have separation of church and state and everything else. The ACLU would all go crazy. So that's a provocative statement. So you either laugh at the guy and say, hey, look, like or you say, what are you talking about? What, do you, what exactly do you mean? How is that going to happen? And see, that, that's what gets me about ABC News. And I'm not picking on them because they have very, very good people over there. And CBS and NBCs, they never, ever really get into it. They just they, they let this stuff go. And I don't think they should. I think the important point is the one you just made, which is if there's ever going to be a position in the U.S., it will be by force. That's what 9-11 is about. That's what the acquisition of nuclear weapons by Iran and other jihadists is about. Absolutely. But in Europe, it's different. Europe has these very large indigenous communities. In France, it's almost one in ten Frenchmen. Many of these communities, the police cannot even enter. They're very radicalized. And you also have a supine European population and a political culture which accepts all this lying down. We have a tradition of assimilation into the American idea. And we also have uh, this notion of, as you say, separation of a church and state. Now, our assimilation is not perfect. Obviously, we've had the Fort Hood shooter. We've had the, uh, the, the, the Times Square attacker who was sentenced, as you know, today to life in prison without parole. But the very fact that these are lone wolves shows you how different we are from Europe. Europe is vulnerable. America is not to internal imposition but here, of Sharia. Here is an interesting thing. Our media, our liberal media, which dominates, there is conservative media too, but the liberal media outnumber conservative media, I would say, five to one. They now are buying into the genteel Islam. You saw that with the mosque controversy. See, they, they now are taking the European media approach that, oh, wait a minute. You have to give peace a chance. You can't be uh, stirring up trouble because they're Muslim people. You have to give them what they want. So the media in America is close to the media in Europe, which, as you know, is a very significant factor in this kind of a situation. But here's the difference. The American people are, for reasons that are almost incomprehensible, almost imp Im impermeable to this liberal bias, not just in this instance. The liberal media have been liberal for 50 years, dominating the, the broadcast media. And yet, Americans are two to one conservative. Only a fifth of Americans are liberal. Twice as many are conservative. On this issue, look at the resistance on the mosque yeah, among 70%. ordinary folks. Absolutely. And that's the genius of America, the bedrock sort of decency and also, I'd say, almost the constitutionalism of Americans who reject all this politically correct nonsense even if it permeates the media. All right.